Welcome back, everybody. Oftentimes, joint injuries and chronic pain are treated surgically, and while that might be the right option for you, depending on the patient, some are seeing big improvements using stem cells instead. With details on stem cell injections, we welcome Daniel Rasmussen, Clinical Director of Pinnacle Integrative Health, and his patient, Elizabeth Haddon. Welcome to both of you today. Thank, Thank you. you. So what is a stem cell? Well, it's uh, basically an undifferentiated cell that has a couple of different characteristics. It can program into different tissue types, mm -hmm. and he which stimulates healing and regenerative uh, capacities of the body. Um, or it can duplicate itself, called the doubling. Um, but basically, it's just a pre-programmed cell that each of us has inside of us. And, which is um, amazing, right? It is I mean, incredible. It's just amazing. Do you use your own stem cells in stem cell therapy? You can. Um, we tend to go towards uh, donated stem cells okay. from umbilical cord tissue and cord blood. So this is where instead of um, tossing this uh, tissue away as medical waste. Because the cord um, blood's amazing stuff, right? Yes, and, and that's a very rich concentrated source of stem cells that are very safely donated. Uh, they don't have any um, issues with rejection, with host graft rejection. Right. So they're very safely donated across the board, basically what's called um, immunological privilege. Mm -hmm. So easily donated, very safe, and they're young, uh, they're vibrant. Perfect health. And they're ready to go. And so you use ultrasound guided injections with these stem cells. Where do you put them and what do they do? So when we, when we evaluate somebody, they've got chronic pain, say it's knee pain or hip mm -hmm. pain, uh, we do an orthopedic examination uh, maybe uh, determine from their radiological uh, images if it's a good candidate. It's, there's a window there of opportunity right. where it'll work. So what would be a good candidate's description? Uh, if they're still, you know, in phase, what we call the early stages to mid uh, stages of arthritis, mm -hmm. uh, they're, those are the best candidates by far. Okay. If they're advanced, more where it's uh, just before they're going to need surgery, pretty much beyond the, the point of help Okay. Where, where our ideal candidate is. So the injection is guided by the ultrasound into that area and right then what happens? Right into the joint. Um, then the stem cells uh, become active and what's called a paracrine activity. Uh, they start uh, producing and um, releasing beneficial anti-inflammatory cytokines. These are anti-inflammatory molecules and proteins mm -hmm. that signal the body's own regenerative and healing mechanisms. I think that's just amazing. I mean, the body is so amazing. It <laughs> Elizabeth, is. What, what brought you to the doctor to, to get this first looked at and then eventually to stem cell therapy? Well, I had had chronic pain for years and years in my hips, especially my right hip. But then my, when my left hip started bothering me too, um, and my doctor just mentioned, you know, at some point you'll need surgery. I started researching. Right. Is there an alternative? And yes. And one of my dear friends had had um, worked with Daniel, and uh, so he just told me, "Oh, you go to Pinnacle." <laughs> and so I said, "Okay." All right. So when you went in, you heard about the process. Did you have any, you know, worries about it, or did it sound like, "Okay, I can do this"? I, um, well, I, I did have questions, and so I went to uh, some seminars, read uh, the web website, and uh, just talked with people, and did as much research as I could on my own until I felt like, no, this is really preferable to... Worth a try. For me, preferable yeah. to surgery. And so, so what did it feel like? What does the treatment feel that's like? That's what I was so worried about. Yeah, um, the whole idea of a needle into the joint, yes. I can see why you'd be concerned. And, but uh, one of my sons came with me the first appointment <laughs> and just sort of held my hand. And uh, it was fine. The, the um, nurse practitioner who does it, Jennifer, is a pro. She's absolutely pro at this. And so um, there, maybe there was a couple times I had to take a deep breath, but not in a clutching right. deep breath more of a, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's the spot. There it and is. And what are the results for you? Oh my gosh. 
it was amazing. The first couple of days, I have to admit, I was tired. And I don't know if it was an emotional re release. I don't know that it was physiological at all. Um, but I was tired. And my daughter was so sweet. She just said, well, you have baby stem cells, and they like to sleep. <laughs> so, Mama, you just take as much time as you want to rest. And, um, and I went, yes. And so I did rest for the first couple of days. And uh, then started feeling better. Um, I didn't have pain. Uh, I think I just went into numb. I, I, I don't know how much of it is emotional in terms of like having had a... It's hard to say when something yes, unusual like that know, happens. Have I, you had several treatments? I, well, I, I, in each hip. Yeah. I, I and you had, have, you've seen an improvement. Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, so I was not able to, I don't know, just motivate, you know, just walk around without without pain. I mean, that electric pain that hits hits the hip, or I'm sure people with sore knees, same right. thing. And now you can. Oh, yes. Daniel, tell me about the seminars that are available for people just to come, you know, check it out. Yeah, so this is, um, while this uh, treatment's been available in other parts of the world for a long time, it's new to us in the right. U.S. So uh, we feel the best way to um, have someone understand it is get educated. So we provide free educational seminars mm -hmm. every month. And um, when they come, uh, we just give them the information. Uh, and then they can decide for themselves if uh, this if is a good right. fit. Yeah. And typically for a patient, how long will an injection give them improvement before they need another? So we're seeing some of our oldest patients now going on four years. Um, and they just had one treatment and uh, four years ago. So some of the uh, research suggests that the better you take care of it, if that healing takes place, the longer it will last. Interesting. Okay, we have a, a graphic I want to put up, and, and you kind of explain the before and after of this, would you? Yeah, so um, damaged, the, the knee is damaged before. You can kind of see how the, the cartilage is worn out. It's, <coughs> it's, it's sort of uh, receding, and there's got some uh, sections of it that are starting to go bone on bone, right. becoming weaker. It's not absorbing impact as well, so it's, it's starting to get painful and limiting um, activity. So when the stem cells are introduced into that knee joint, specifically inside that capsule, they're contained and they will stay active. These young stem cells from umbilical cord tissue have been shown to stay active for about 250 days after an injection. And during that time, that, that six to eight months of activity is a, is a s signaling of that body to start healing and repairing that specific type of tissue. Interesting. And so, it's different, you know, it, everybody gets different results. There's no guarantees, but we do our best to just make sure that um, we're going to recommend somebody get stem cell therapy if we feel like it's going to help. Right. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Elizabeth. I'm Thank glad you. you're feeling well. Yes. To find out more about the work that Pinnacle Integrative Health is doing to heal injuries with stem cells and where you can find those free educational seminars, please just check their website, pinnacleintegrative.com. It's pretty cool stuff. And Daniel will be back with us to join our wellness panel and answer more of your questions in just a moment. Thanks. So we take into consideration if that body's gonna go into a healing state, it needs to have good nutrition. So we give very clear training and mentoring on what needs to be avoided and what can be enjoyed mm -hmm. uh, in terms of nutrition, anti-inflammatory diet approach, right. whole foods, nutrition. Um, and then we look at um, blood work and we look for markers that could indicate problems coming down the road and what can we preventatively do something about it now to prevent future triggers of inflammation, making sure that the, re the results that they get with tissue repair and healing are long lasting. Yeah. So it's really a lifestyle change. Inflammation is the, the big bug of it, right? From everything from aging to chronic diseases. You um, say also that acupuncture can help stimulate your own stem cells, correct? Yeah, so there's an interesting new study that was just out in May of this year <clears throat> that's confirming that uh, certain methods of acupuncture can stimulate the sympathetic nervous system to trigger uh, the recruitment of stem cells from your own fat tissue into systemic circulation. That's interesting. And once they get into systemic circulation, they move to wherever they need to do to uh, promote anti-inflammatory healing, remodeling, uh, How about that? Yeah, so Our bodies pretty. are miracles, aren't they? Um, let's talk about senior 